Okay, so now that I made a million copies of my basket, I'm going to go back in time with my new shortcut. I'm really excited because that's the first time I heard of such a thing to hold com command or control. Command on a Mac, control on a PC, control um, option or alt uh, Z. Let's stop here. Yay! All the way back to the beginning. Okay, so I'm just going to do that again. Grab my marquee tool, click, and then um, grab my move tool with V really quickly. Hold Alt or Option, drag it over, make a copy, hold Shift so that it's level. And um, what happens is because I've got a rectangular marquee, I can't put it too close to the vase because then the white background starts overlapping the old one. So um, I'm going to Control Z that one move and um, move it over just so that they're not overlapping. And then to deselect again, you do Control Z. And then I have this other basket right here, and I've decided I'm gonna move that one next. I think that's how it is in the book. Um, because it is behind, it's in front of those two baskets over here, and then, but behind everything else. So they say that for selecting something like that, the quick selection tool is probably best. Um, so the quick selection tool is, it creates a selection using a paintbrush like quality. So you paint on the selection and it works really well for some things. Um, it doesn't do very well with a lot of detail. Like right here it starts, if there's not a whole lot of contrast it won't grab, it won't do a very good job. But in this case, because, oops, okay, anytime you make a selection you don't like it, just hit Control D and it deselects everything. So, um, yeah, in this case it works. Oh, I got too much over here. If you hold it down too long in one spot, then it has a tendency to grab too much. So deselect Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. Um, and then just try to make it really quickly. Nope, I'm going too slow. I'm going to zoom in, control plus, and then when you zoom in, if you can't find something, you can just grab your hand tool or press H and then hand, um, use the hand to drag the page around like this. Just moves your way along. It's like mimicking your hand actually adjusting your paper like if it was on a desktop, on a real desktop. Um, and then I'm going to grab my my um, quick selection tool. Also, you can, it's called the wand. Um, you can hit W. It's, it's paired together with the magic wand tool. So they use the same shortcut. So um, it'll grab whatever one is being viewed in the toolbar itself. But there are tools underneath, a lot of them actually. So if you, if you don't have the right tool, then you sometimes have to go and click and hold it down. Or you can press, for example, if I wanted to grab the wand tool, um, I'd hit W, but then it grabs the quick selection tool, but then if I hold Shift W, then it grabs the one underneath. And you can just kind of scroll through tools like that, for example, with the marquee tool. They're all M, all four of them, the rectangle, elliptical, single roll, etc. But if you hold Shift M, it scrolls through all of them. Oh. It just scrolls through the elliptical and rectangular. Yeah, I'm learning as I go here. <laughs> anyway, so back to the basket, we're going to use the quick selection. So I hit W, and since it's, I've, I've changed it to the magic wand tool, so if I hit Shift W, it goes back to the quick selection tool. Um, and I quick select. Now, if I did it fast enough, then it, it did a good job. But what happens is, I'm, I'm zooming out, control plus, control minus. If I go up and grab my move tool and move the basket over it, then I've had I've left two things that happened. I've left a halo in the old spot where it was. See, that is a problem. So um, it didn't really grab everything I needed it to grab. So I'm gonna go back in time, control V, and then um, in this case. This is where the refine edge tool comes in handy. I'm going to save it for the next video.